Okay, let's look at some damaging, emotionally disruptive content today. Okay, um, yeah, I wish no one would have told me about this. Wait, what? Uh, what is this? Best ship? Jungkook and Lisa nominated for best. What the? F um, Jungkook and Lisa nominated. Nickelodeon. Are you shitting me? What the hell is this? Oh my god, they're right. It it this it is fake. Okay, this has to be fake. I mean, it's not all K-pop. I mean, look at the dislikes. Let's just. Okay, try some more. Let's see. Things the officials say. Yeah. God. Okay, let's go to favorite ship. Oh my god. Oh, it's right fucking there. Holy shit. Are you kidding me? What the f bitch, what the fuck am I looking at? What up, heteros? Crackhead Nation, what's poppin'? So, um, I saw some shit that really disturbed me. I don't know where this came from. I don't know how it got here, but it needs to be eliminated. Um, so I was just having a panic attack about my future and korea boo posted this article and i was like this is probably a troll because i know sometimes like korea boo like they could be like oh you know it's just you know like i don't know article about nickelodeon mexico and how under best ship they have their voting out for right now for the kids choice awards in mexico so the website's in spanish and um Lee Cook or Leah Cook, Lisa Cook. I don't what the fuck it is. It, they're nominated for like a Kids Choice Award for best couple. What the fuck? Literally, what the hell? I don't understand how this happens. Um, <laughs> I'm just like, what the hell is this? Like, I've always heard about like Lisa Cook. Or like um like Lisa and like Don't Cook and like I've seen the cringy edits and stuff, but I just like how can you fuck up this bad? The other couples, if you notice on the Kiss Choice Award website, they are like actual people who either have a relationship with each other in real life or like a TV couple. Like for some of it says like underneath, it's like Riverdale or you know something like that. But no, no. It's a fucking fake ass couple. This is what happens when you get cringy young K-pop fans too much power. And I can relate because I was a cringy K-pop fan. I mean, there's evidence. There's so much evidence right here. I'm not even kidding. I'm not kidding. So I definitely can understand, you know, the shipping and being cute and like, oh my God, like I shipped them. Oh, because I mean, I did that. I can't even remember what ships I did it with right now, but I know that I did it. So I can understand, you know, the desire to do it. I'm not judging them, but it's just like, I'm judging them. <laughs> like, it's just like Teen's Choice Awards. I mean, um, my bad, Kids' Choice Awards. Girl, you are a full ass company. You are like literally like owned by Viacom, which is a billion dollar company, and you're Nickelodeon. Like, I don't understand how you could fuck up this bad. I couldn't fuck up this bad. And we have fucking Nickelodeon over here secretly shipping Lisa and Jungkook and they got this cringy ass edit. How does that happen? How is that possible? The reason why I think this probably happened is because they probably go by popular trends or like popular couple trends in their country. And so some marketing person was probably like, oh, you know, like this is a popular couple. And I mean, some of the, some of the videos are actually like kind of real looking. But I'm just like, how does this happen? So please, K-pop fans, stop being cringy. <laughs>